Hi everyone! So in this video I'm going to be talking about my nail art essentials. So that's everything that I think you need in order to create some amazing nail art. When I first started out with nail art I wasn't really sure what I should use and I used to just use kind of old hairpins and toothpicks but then I discovered some things that are really cheap that can help you out a lot more and are great for creating really easy nail art. So I'm just going to be picking things out at random. So the first thing, obviously, is nail polish remover and I've talked about this in one of my previous videos. This one is just by Sally Hansen and obviously you need this if you're going to be cleaning off your nail varnish. It's also super handy for going around your nails after you've done your nail art. If you've made any mistakes, you can just dip one of these uh, cotton buds into the nail varnish remover and then just swipe it around your nails uh, to get off any mistakes you might have made. So nail varnish remover is a massive need when you're doing nail art. Following on from that, obviously you're going to need some cotton pads as well for removing nail art after you've decided that it's done its time and you want to create something new. So I just have these cotton pads from Superdrug. So next I'm going to talk about brushes and I probably should have cleaned these before I filmed this video but I couldn't really be bothered. So the first two brushes that I really recommend tie in with the nail varnish remover. I'm not sure how well you can see but these two are just little flat brushes and these are great for once you've done your nails like I've said before you just dip this into the nail varnish remover and then just clean up around the edges to create a really clean and professional looking design. And you can also use uh, any other small brush like a concealer brush as well, they also work really well. The next brush I recommend is just a really really teeny tiny detail brush and I actually got these, uh, all these pink ones from a set in Topshop and some of them from eBay and this one started out being a thin nail art brush but I actually trimmed down the bristles so there's only, I don't know, I would say there's about five bristles in this. It is so thin and so tiny and you can really create intricate designs with this. This is the brush that I use pretty much for everything. You can create any design you like with this and I just think one of these super thin brushes is a definite essential. Next up is a striping brush and I know mine is super bent <laughs> because it's been dipped in nail varnish and then dried um, but again these are really handy for creating lines on your nails if you want to create a thin line it's just got a few bristles and it's really long so you dip this in the nail varnish and then you just kind of swipe it down your nail like that and these make drawing lines on your nails a hell of a lot easier so I recommend you get a striping brush as well. Another great thing you can use for creating stripes is some striping tape and this is basically just super thin tape which you cut off as much as you like and then you apply it to your nails in whatever pattern you like really um, and then you paint over the top of them and when you peel them off afterwards they leave behind the area that you don't want to be painted so it creates stripes and this is also just really handy to have. Um, it also comes in loads of different colours and you can actually leave it on your nail and cut it down to the right size and just stick it on there and then paint over the top with the top coat. So this is another really good product to have. Other tools which are definitely essential when creating nail art are dotting tools and these are super cheap on Amazon and eBay. You can get them in packs of five and it's just a piece of metal really with different sized dots on the top and these come in multiple different sizes. You dip these into nail varnish and then put them on your nails and it creates a really nice dot shape. So if you want to create some polka dot nails or just any polka dot design where you would need dots then I really recommend you get some dotting tools. Another thing I recommend you get is palettes and these come in super handy for if you're using for example a dotting tool or a small brush and you want to pour out some nail varnish onto something so you can dip the dotting tool into it. These palettes come in super handy for that so you don't end up with nail varnish everywhere. I personally find these palettes really useful because you can use them over and over again and they last forever really and these ones I got on eBay, I got them in a pack of 10, here's a clean one, um, I got them in a pack of 10 for only a couple of pounds so they're really cheap and I think they are really useful so you don't end up with nail varnish all over a piece of paper. My next recommendation might seem a bit strange to some of you that are new to nail art but I recommend getting a black and a white acrylic paint because most designs involve black or white if you're doing small details and 
I just find acrylic paint is a lot easier to work with than nail varnish because it doesn't dry as quickly and it's much smoother to apply. So if you're using a really small brush and you want to get a really nice detail, then I recommend you use acrylic paints and obviously you can get these in any different colour that you like, but I just have a black and a white one because I find that these are the most useful to me. So next up, if you're looking for something to practice your nail art on, then I recommend you get some of these nail wheels and these are just made of plastic, they have loads of kind of fake nails on them. These are really great for if you want to practice painting nails but you don't want to try on your own nails because you don't want to mess up. So yeah, these nail wheels come in super handy for if you want to try out a design before you try it on your own nails and again, these are really cheap. Um, this is what one of the plain ones looks like, it's just white and it just has a load of fake nails on it which you can practice your painting skills. Makeup sponges are also another really good thing to have if you want to create a ombre or dip dye look on your nails. So what you do with these is you can just take your two colours of nail varnish or three colours or however many colours you want to be in your ombre design and you paint stripes of them across it and then you just kind of dab it onto a nail like this and it creates a really nice blended effect so I think makeup sponges come in super handy for things like that and I just got mine in Poundland and I use them all the time if I'm doing an ombre design so I just think these are really great. Another thing which I forgot to mention earlier which uh, fitted in with the striping tape is just normal tape as well because if you want to create just kind of a colour block design where you want half your nail one colour and half another colour or you want to create a triangle design or something like that then normal tape can come in really handy. These nail gems or studs or whatever you want to call them come in really handy if you want to add a bit of 3D aspect to your nail art and make them look really pretty and girly. These come in so many different designs, I just have some plain silver uh, rhinestones here, I've got some different colours and shapes of rhinestones in this one, um, in this one I just have um, some gold and silver studs and uh, lots of different beads and kind of things to put on top of your nails. These are really fun to have in your collection of nail art products and I always find myself reaching for these if I just want to create something that is a bit more interesting and they're super easy to apply. All you do is apply your top coat and then you just press them on top or you can use nail glue to apply them. Again, you can get these on Amazon, eBay, Born Pretty Store, Primark, Poundland. They sell them in so many places and they're really great. So the final two things I want to talk about are top coats and I just have my trusty Sally Hansen Insta Dry top coat here and then I have an OPI matte top coat here and I think a quick dry top coat is an absolute essential for nail art and if I don't have one of these and it's run out then I won't do my nails because I don't want to have to do my nails and then wait like 20 minutes before I can do anything and you just apply this after you've done your nail art and then it will dry your nails in a matter of minutes and you can avoid all the stress of smudging them and having to redo them so I think that a quick dry top coat is a definite essential and I know Seshvi do one as well but I personally really like the Sally Hansen one and I'm yet to try the Seshvi one so if you're looking for something a little bit cheaper then I recommend this one. And then finally if you want to create some matte nails which I think look really cool um, I use this matte top coat by OPI, it's actually one of the uh, Nicole by OPI ones and I found that this is the best matte top coat I've ever used. It dries your nails quickly as well and when you apply it, it turns your nails completely matte. I know other top coats I've tried, uh, they can still leave a bit of shine to your nails but these ones turn your nails really matte. So I recommend if you want to try out matte nails, it's something a bit fun and different then I recommend this matte top coat. So that is everything in my nail art essentials and I hope some of you found this useful if you're just starting out with nail art and if you want to follow my nail art Instagram it is Soph Does Nails, and I'll put it on the screen here. Obviously it's just the same with my YouTube name. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe it will mean the world to me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!